All right, so I did a controller upgrade, and I thought I would show this a little bit before buttoning it back up, because uh, the motor's exposed so you can get a sense of the size. And uh, this is the new, sorry, new PWM controller here. And by switching to a larger box, I was able to fit in a solenoid so that it has a, uh, or a contactor. Whereas the old one was uh, almost physically the same size. The actual controller is about the same, although the new one has much higher current rating. This one is a 50 amp continuous 100 amp peak, and then this one is the double of that. So it's a 100 amp continuous, 50, uh, 200 amp peak, and it's giving me a lot better torque. So I'm happy with the upgrade, but uh, I thought I would just give people a look at it before. It's not a fantastic view. One, it's a little bit dark, but uh, also the small control connections are down underneath. Visibility is not great. Space is a bit tight. Getting it all wired up in there was not fantastic, but it's done. And then you can see the motor. This is about a I think this motor is about six and a half inches in diameter and it's a it's an oddball from a Clark uh, floor scrubber and you notice that it's a uh, it's rated at 24 volts 30 amps but it'll easily handle a hundred or more for short periods and the rpm is 300 rpm and there's no gear reduction here. It's wound funny, and uh, the brush spacing is a bit odd, and I think that it uses uh, one field to slow down the other, so it's probably not the world's most efficient motor, but it's neat because it's got no gear reduction and, uh, and still spins that slowly. And then up at the control, all we have is LED to show you when it's on, an emergency stop button is on off and it triggers the solenoid or the contactor to snap shut and then a hall effect throttle and a fuse for the five volt circuit up to the hall throttle so there's not much to it i'm gonna button it back up and uh, take it back out to the field i'll show you how much power it has with the new controller okay so here's the planet junior walk behind electric bp1 um, with the upgraded controller. You can see this tool is a bunch of A-blades from uh, Tillmore, Ryan Thiessen, but uh, it's quite a lot of, sorry my shadows, it's a lot of steel and uh, it pulled this yesterday with no problem. And uh, the other thing that's remarkable is that it now has the torque to spin its tires. Even this hard packed gravel is a relatively immovable object. And I'm curious what the current draw is, but I don't have another person here. But, uh, yeah, yesterday. It pushed the bin right up into its neighbor, and now it's just digging. So, uh, it's got pretty good traction. These are brand new tires. I'm not able to stop it. And uh, so far, any tool I want, I'll just have to keep building heavier things until figure out where the limits of traction are. So yeah, so far, so good. 100 amps through that funny old uh, scrubber motor. It occurs to me that that scrubber motor might be um, current limited because of the absence of uh, adequate cooling air, because it doesn't spin fast and therefore it can't cool itself. And therefore, I don't know, I wonder if uh, a gear motor would be a better solution after all, even though you get the noise of the gear reduction. All right, have one on the shelf if uh, this one melts or something.
but uh, so far this is looking promising and it's not really the beginning of the farming season, not the time to break things that are working. Alright, thanks for watching.